Hello crafty friends, welcome to another Tuesday card making video. Today I'm going to be creating using the Heffy Doodle Big Bug Hugs stamp set. This stamp set is adorable, it has got some of the cutest little critters. So I wanted to use pretty much all of them, so all the critters and the mushrooms on this card. So I went ahead and lined them up into my Misty and I'm using Nina 80 pounds solar white cardstock. This is my favorite for my general kind of stamping needs. I'll use the 80 pounds for layers and stamping and the 110 pounds for my card bases, generally speaking. And I've inked those up with a black ink. This is the Simon Says Stamp Intense Black Ink, which is Copic friendly because I'll be adding some Copic coloring to all of these. I'll go ahead and flip this over and actually be able to get two sets of stamping onto this piece. Perfect. So once I had this done, I went ahead and colored everything and then I cut everything apart and I actually used my scan and cut just to make this a little bit quicker. You can totally use the coordinating dies, I just didn't have them to have them on hand. Okay, so now I'm grabbing my cardstock and I'm going to create a cloud background. So I have some sea glass cardstock and I'll have links to everything in the description below. And I try to include multiple sources where possible. I'm in the UK, so I try and include UK sources and also American sources. I do buy a lot of my product from America as well and have it shipped to me. But obviously one of the advantages of Heffy Doodle is that I can actually grab those products in the UK. So I'm using my Heffy Doodle Memo Tape here and I'm just doing some cloud ink blending using some tumble glass distress ink off the edge of a stencil here. And I have of course got this sped up, I don't ink blend this quickly. <laughs> and once I've got all of that blending on the outside of the card and also on the inside top layer, I can move on to some die cutting. So here I have a Lawn Fawn die. This is the Stitched Hillside Pop-Up die, and I'm using some green apple cardstock to go ahead and run that through my die cut machine, and this will create the pop-up element for the inside of this card. So this card is really fun because those little critters needed somewhere fun to hang out, and I decided it'd be nice to make a scene using this hillside pop-up piece, and that way you kind of get to decorate the outside of your card and the inside as well. So it just makes it really special. And this is actually going to be going to my niece, Lucia. So I went ahead and reinforced those score lines and now it's time to move on to the front of the card to add some decoration. First, I'm just figuring out exactly where everything's going to be. So I've got one of my dragonflies just kind of held in place on the front of the card. And I'm taking one of the sentiments here that says flying by to say, and then I'll complete the sentiment on the inside of the card. I'm actually just stamping that multiple times using my Misty just to really darken up that sentiment. And then I'm going to grab this little trail and stamp this multiple times, kind of twisting and turning it to create a fun pattern and a fun little, uh, little kind of trail that the dragonfly will have followed. And again, I just think it adds some more interest to the front of this card. I did go ahead and add some um, double-sided sticky tape onto the back of the dragonfly and stick him down. And that is the outside of the card decorated. With the interactive element on the inside with those pop-ups, I wanted to keep the outside of the card quite plain and simple and then have that exciting surprise on the inside. So to create my grass area, I will be using the hillside pop-up and also I want to have some kind of grass underneath that. It just makes it kind of seamless and look like it's popping right off that card base. So I have another piece of that green apple cardstock just laid down there, but you could use whichever greens and blues that you have and you could always use some ink to color match cardstock if you don't have exactly what you need on hand. So adding double sided tape to the sticky tab area and also the flap on the bottom of this piece and I've just kind of zoomed you in so you can see how I stick this down. So I'll stick down that bottom tab and then I'll fold down that second hill and just switch both of those tabs to the back so the sticky is facing upwards and just press my card closed. And then you'll see as you lift that open everything kind of sticks in place and you can start building your scene. 
So in terms of building this scene, I knew I wanted some of my flying creatures, so the cute little bee and the dragonfly in the sky in the background, and then I wanted the snail and the worm, although I guess he's kind of a caterpillar since I coloured him in green, and the ladybird and also the mushrooms to kind of be arranged on the hills. So I just kind of placed everything down where I wanted it and added some adhesive. Anytime I was adding any of those creatures to the hills, I made sure to only use double-sided tape on the areas that would be touching the hill. Otherwise, I may have a problem when I close this card with any extra exposed adhesive kind of sealing the whole thing shut, and that's definitely not what we want. So I took some time kind of figuring out exactly where I wanted everything and once I was happy with this mushroom I did think I was finished but you'll see in the pictures at the end that I do go ahead and add a couple more um, images onto the bottom section of the grass kind of underneath my sentiment piece. Okay so now I want to finish off the sentiment. And here I've got Happy Bee Day, which is just perfect with that little bumblebee. And it completes that sentiment from the front of the card. And I really like it when you get the opportunity to do that with cards, kind of have the first half of the sentiment on the outside and then the second half on the inside. And I just think this is so cute looking. I mean, how could you not fall in love with these cute little bugs? <laughs> They're just adorable. So thank you so much for joining me today, I hope you've enjoyed this video, I'll have a link in the description below where you can find the blog post version of this video on the Heffy Doodle website, and also links to all of the products used today. If you are new here or you're just not yet subscribed, you can go ahead and tap on the logo on screen right now to subscribe, and I hope to see you back here again soon for another video, but that is all for me today, I'll see you soon, bye for now!